Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to the Back Office Show. I have here a car. <coughs> it's not a car, sorry. It's just a normal SD card entertainment thingy. You know, it's like a DVD player without a DVD. That's hard to describe. You know, the type plays AVI files or MP3 files or whatever. This is a panel from a car for the center console. And you can see someone's modified this in the past, and I want to get rid of that. My main idea, you see, is to mount this on it. And it goes underneath like that and it lets the people in the back choose what they want to watch with the remote control the problem is the sound and originally i think this system had some sort of infrared headphones which i can't get hold of and to be honest i can't be bothered we got so many of these sorts of normal headphones which are noise cancelling with their own volume controls i tried hooking up the output of the unit which is a line out to a headphone just to see what happens and it's very quiet so my idea was to get a baby boomer, which is in this box, <laughs> and wire it up to see if it can do a suitable kind of amplification for headphones. There's no reason it can't. Um, and that's my plan, basically. So I've got some wire here. I've already sort of set out bits of wire and all sorts because I want to just sort of get on with it. And I'm going to just sort of try that out. I'm still waiting for headphone jack type connectors they've not arrived yet but so i'm just going to sort of do a bit of you know something dodgy on the output basically to hold it just to test but i think it should work quite nicely and i can um hook this up to the same power supply as this unit because they're both five volts so just soldering some wires. I wish I pre tinned these. I did cut them and I thought, oh, you don't want to see me preparing wires. And then obviously I've just gone ahead and totally forgotten to solder them on. <laughs> but that's okay, we've got something to do. Leaving the wires a little bit long. I'm not I'm not that bothered because I'm just probably gonna reconfigure oh sugar. I'm probably gonna reconfigure it anyway because the vehicle is absolutely chock full of wires. You know, when you uh it's really weird you don't realize how much if, you've, if you're going for an in-car entertainment system how many bits and bobs um, and wires start uh, appearing because everything comes with mega long leads and some of those you can cut and terminate yourself and others you're probably less likely to so you just try to find ways of wrapping them up around in sort of center consoles and stuff and you, you know you're before long you've got a few kilos of extra wire just bundled up somewhere and you've got to make sure it's not obstructing anything or going to be uh, you know, a hazard in an accident or a hazard in a, a fire or starting a fire. There's, there's a lot of issues, so you've got to be a little bit careful. But I have hooked up, I've, so I've reconfigured the whole lot basically. The previous owner had obviously just done it as a joke. Um, it was really badly done. So I've sort of rewired all of that. And uh, I'm just now going to install this as the sort of single point entertainment unit for the back. And there are options. Each screen technically can just display their own thing if they want to. And also, oops, sorry, they just sort of got a bit distracted there. I'm just focusing on my soldering. So yeah, each screen can uh, display what they want. Um, but I'm, I'm obviously hooking them up to be displaying the same thing because I don't want to mess with that. But technically, the user could plug in their own, you know, PXP game station and those things and actually play their own games. But I think it's a bit ridiculous, to be honest. In this day and age, tablets are just as good. Just hanging the tablet off the back of a, a car seat is probably just as good as the inbuilt monitors. So you don't really need to mess too much. But I think it is nice to be able to choose your own music and uh, not have to mess with your iPhones and things. Again, it's insane. It's only just, it's only to be completionist, the fact that you've got them in the vehicle kind of makes you want to have them work and that's kind of where I'm going with that. Right, so we've got the inputs and the inputs I'm going to use these horrible panel mount um, phonos. They're really kind of cack, but I've been using the same ones for basically decades. It's a massive box of them and they must have been from old sort of TV repair days and it's I've, I've just just going through them but I do use them all the time that's the funny thing I um I sometimes cut them in cut them down a little bit and then join them back to back to make phono to phono joiners and it's, it's just bizarre the amount of use I get out of them so I can't really slag them off too much they really are good but at some point I'm gonna have to invest in some 
you know, a, a, <laughs> some different type of panel mount things. So these are the outputs, and we know that it's going to be headphones. So headphones, though, tend to have um, a common. They don't tend to be differential on the earpieces. So we do have to have a common minus on them. So I'm going to have to make a jumper at some point across those. Just trimming down the ends here. So I did have a look to see if that company though still does sell the infrared headphones and they are discontinued and the last price before they discontinued them was about 30 quid so 60 quid sod that for a game of soldiers I'm not going to be uh, investing I'm afraid. I, wonder why I, sh oh, I was going to say I wonder why they cut that black wire so short well I didn't clearly I made a, another one for that. So yeah it's just a bit of a spider wigg wearing, <laughs> wiggling up wiring up my spider here and uh, what I might do I'm not quite convinced yet on the, the plan of attack but I'm, I'm sort of considering I was considering gutting this thing here um, might be feasible to do that and uh, just make my own unit in a box but I just don't know if I've got the willpower or you know probably the simplest approach reality wise is to see if there's any Android tablets, Android seat back um, TV monitor things and then figure out if um, those will be a, a direct fit for the ones that I've got and just maybe save up some money and fit those and not have to do with any of this wiring. And then they can just have their own Bluetooth dongles and headphones and everything and I don't have to mess with it. But that would be too easy wouldn't it? That would be too easy. Here we go. I'm trying to think today then what was the weirdest thing I found in the car so the weirdest thing I found was this Parrot uh, universal um, Bluetooth system that had been chopped they chopped off the kind of head unit bit for some reason and uh, just sort of forgot about that the strange thing is it's obviously wired into the vehicles music system but through official actual official looking connectors so I kind of think it might be wired into part of the telematics or telemetry or whatever you call it system the telephone system option in that vehicle um, or maybe there was an auxiliary amplifier but yeah certainly wired in for that but I ripped it all out all of this stuff was wired in directly to full live power all the time power if you know what I mean so anything goes wrong car battery dies anything goes wrong car battery dies it was just a joke it was awful so um, I soon scuppered all of that that's in my mind that just reeks reeks of amateurness when I see that don't do it you might catch all my other videos which are same day I've been making I've been doing a lot of this work today uh, where I've made basically a relay uh, control unit so that I can get that switched auxiliary power but I want the full power so you know I've just found that way I can find a very light feed you know low current um, signal feed for something that comes on you know like I don't know a radio module um, lamp or something and then just get that to switch the relay so I get the full full uh, Monty 20 amp type feed to my in car entertainment system and, and that, that works quite well that's doing its job so we've got that we've got that and we've got just these wires that are going to be on input and that's power sorry we've got these wires for output and I'm kind of going to hold those onto the headphones so I'm just going to do a little test I know you're probably not going to really appreciate the test because you're not going to be able to hear it but I'm just going to plug one of those into there I'm going to plug one of those into there and I guess all I'm going to do is do a thumbs up or a thumbs down really I'm, I'm going to put some headphones on now so I don't know if I'm going to start shouting I can't hear you let me turn the voltage I've got, I've got a bench power supply next to me running at 5 volts now I might get one of those digital uh, power supplies that you can maybe have presets like 12 volt, 5 volt you know all the common volts that you use that might be quite cute no I don't think I need it so it's on now and it's got power going to it the baby boomer is activated 
Okay, it works good. Just had to tinker with the actual player a bit because I had the volume on mute. And uh, it does have a volume control, so it's plenty loud, by the way, for headphones. Like, louder than you're ever really going to likely to need. The ma maximum, it's a lot. So the headphones themselves have volume controls, which is cool, but this player also does. So I'm leaving this at about 70% of its maximum. And this is at, well, 100% right now because I don't have a means of winding it down uh, right now unless I start changing the values. I'm not there. It's fine. It's fine as it is. Might just generate... And I'll tell you what, it feels warm, but I think it's just... Um, that's me <clears throat> squeezing it. But yeah, there you go. That's how you make a baby boomer headphone amplifier. So just going to click another black wire there. Well, sorry, what am I going to do? No, I'm going to be bonkers here. I'm going to join these two black wires and solder all three to the headphone socket and then plug that in on the jack. And then that's it. And that'll do the trick. Thank you for watching.